How's it going guys? My name is Nerdy TV and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys the best settings for OBS. Uh, if you have a computer that usually runs at 120 frames per second, uh, like mine does, when you're not streaming or anything like that, but when you do stream you get put down to uh, about 30 frames, I'm going to make it so that you can at least play at 60 frames per second and have good quality stream. Green good stream quality so this is my settings and this is the perfect settings and you will not lose basically any frame rate so here's my settings I go encoding I set my max bit rate to 3500 that is the max bit rate that twitch it allows so put it to the, put it at that uh, do not use a custom buffer size and uh, and enable CBR padding and all that kind of stuff so basically click on every make the same as mine on take all your settings and put it the same as mine and then my broadcast settings same whatever video I downgrade 1920 by 1080 which is my uh, resolution for my video games that I play and I download credit to 720 and then I make it bilinear bilinear and which is fastest and then I put it at 60 frames per second do not make it 1920 by 1080 by 60 because Twitch does not allow that. Uh, you can make it. You can make it 1980 by 1020. 10, I can't even speak right now. 1920 by 1080 and at 30 FPS. But I suggest downgrading and all that kind of stuff because it'll just cut. For if you're to stream at 1920 by 1080, it'll just use too much bandwidth and all that kind of stuff. But okay, so to Kenny Watton, uh, my audio is the same. Um, advanced, I have it on high. I just have all of this, and then my video, I have this at super fast, which is the second highest, the second lowest setting, which usually causes a lot of pixelation. But since I have my encoding to the highest that you can have, it doesn't use as much CPU usage, and I have my encoding profile to main, keyframe interval to two. UCFR, CFR, and custom X264 encoder settings. I put that to CRF equals 22. That will that will use not as much CPU, good quality, and all that kind of stuff. And then I encode in full range, allow uh, 61 by 120 FPS. Um, for network, I for to bind to interface, I use it to my own IP. But if I were to click down on here, it will show my IP. So I'm not gonna allow, I'm not gonna show you guys that. But that is basically what you need to do to make it really good setting. So hopefully you guys like this video. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Go and check out my channel. It has funny moments, uh, game highlights, and all that kind of stuff. So hope you guys have a good day and make it a great day. And see ya.